tired. It's a, a Hebrew idiom is what it is. And what it means is that this is total, this is incredible. This is totally intense right here. The way that I feel. And what he's saying is, guys, here it is. Here's the fact. As we sit here together, I have waited for this moment to have this meal with you. And here it is. It's all coming to a head right now. Think about this. He's saying to those disciples, I want you to remember me. Every time from this day forward, remember me when you have communion. Can you see why they were so passionate? Why they were so devoted to having the Lord's Supper. Can you imagine what was going through their mind at future dates when they were having communion and they were thinking back on that moment? See, that's what Christ wants for us today. He wants us to think about that point in time in history when He walked and suffered the pain of the cross for you and me. Literally slaughtered for our sins. I pray that today that He is speaking to your heart in a way that you realize that that was a gift for you. For all of us. Let's bow our heads together for a moment. We're going to prepare to take communion. But before we do, I want to give you an opportunity to say yes to Jesus Christ. I want to give you an opportunity to take what Christ did with going to the cross and take it in personally. And you say, Ron, I get it. I get it. I'm kind of like you were back in the day where I thought God, you know, He was above all this and Christ, you know, He could handle all that because, you know, He's Jesus. But I realize today that He suffered greatly for me so that I could have a personal, intimate relationship with the King of Kings. And if you're here today and you say, Ron, I want that personal relationship, not only that I can have communion with you all today, but so that I can implement Him into my life to, to, to grow in Him, to be fulfilled in all that He would want me to be fulfilled in. You say, how do I do that? Did you know it's as simple as saying a sincere prayer of forgiveness? The Bible tells us that repentance leads to salvation. So if we come with a repentant heart, He will accept that repentance and free you from the bondage of sin. You say, how do I do it? It's as simple as a prayer. And I want us to say this prayer together. If you're here saying this for the first time, just you and God saying this together. Let's say it together. Dear God, I know I'm a sinner. And I ask You to forgive me of my sins. I believe you died for me. I thank you for going to the cross for me. And this day, I give my heart, I give my life, I give my future to you. I pray that you would be with me and guide me from this day forward, in Jesus' holy name, amen. Amen. I'm going to ask the ushers if they would come, and the team if they would come. And I'm going to ask the ushers to start handing out the elements. And while they're handing out the elements, I just want us all to do what the Bible tells us to do as we partake in communion. The Bible tells us that we are to examine ourselves. We are to examine our lives. 
and to ask the Lord to just reveal to us anything that is displeasing to Him. And I'm just going to ask you, if, you, if you've gotten your elements so far, just to put the bread, put the, the juice in your hand and just think about those things that are in your life that you feel that the Lord is tugging on your heart saying, you know what? I'm not too pleased with you in this area. Why don't you give that area to me, he says. So I want us to just be reverent in this moment. And when you get it, just close your eyes and just you and he alone for just a, a couple of minutes. And then when everybody receives them, then we're going to just partake together. I want you to reflect back on the word that we've heard today. That this isn't a mechanical exercise. But this should be such a, an emotional activity for us. Thinking about the Savior of the world. Going to that cross after being literally beaten to a pulp. Unrecognizable as a man. And think of the pain that he emptied himself to feel the pain, to feel the weight of that on that day. So that he and he alone. could give you abundance in living now and in eternity. You know, it says that on the night, the same night, the exact night, when Jesus was betrayed, he took the bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it. And he said, Take, eat. This is my body. This is my body. Do this in remembrance of me. Can we partake together? And in the same, he also took the cup after supper saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes oh, how beautiful Let's partake of the cup together. And Heavenly Father, we just come to you in closing of this special service, Lord. In reverence, in total reverence of, of who you are and what you have done for us. We rejoice in this together. Our salvation because of you. In Jesus' name, we lift all this up. Amen. Team, can we just sing together? Would we stand together and just rejoice in the Lord for a moment, and then we will break? But let's just give this moment to the Lord, shall we?
that speaks a better word than all the empty claims I've heard upon this earth speaks righteousness for me and stands in my defense Jesus is your blood what can wash away our sins what can make us whole again nothing but the blood nothing but the blood Testifies in grace, tells of the Father's heart to make a way for us. Now boldly we approach, not earthly confidence, it's only by your blood. Thank you. 